Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes, the next plane 11. For this flight I'm in the B-17 by Kamsin Studios. And this is freeware, though Kamsin Studios does make payware planes, and so this is very high quality and everything, so very nice. And I'm going to be flying from Vancouver to Seattle, fairly straightforward. I've decided to just record this in the regular resolution and hope that YouTube doesn't like downscale it like they've done with previous videos in the series. So just a reminder, uh, at the beginning I did it in 1080p, which is the natural resolution. And then I saw that YouTube was downscaling things because they weren't getting enough views, each of these videos. So I found out that if it was rendered in 1440p, that they wouldn't downscale it, so I've been making a lot of the videos at that resolution, but that creates a lot of overhead on OBS, which is doing that upscaling on the fly, and so, yeah, I want to see if we can avoid that extra overhead during this recording, because, of course, we're getting to the United States, where there's going to be a lot of scenery, Seattle's going to be packed with stuff, and other places as well, so, yeah. Uh, I'll just try and keep it to 1080p and hopefully YouTube won't do those things again. <laughs> I'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, I can upscale it after the fact if it's absolutely necessary, but I hope I don't have to do that. But anyway, so with that, I'll continue with the Apollo 13 audio, which we are picking up from. And they are continuing to work through problems and getting procedures there. On their way the, back, uh, air needles, uh, uh, with the TTCA starting also, right and it's the where we left off, uh, and let's go into uh, the in outside view. Over. This is our nice right livery, very nice livery, shiny and everything, and throttling up, brakes off. And, uh, Houston, uh, want to make sure that uh, we allow enough time to get to the. I want to check that. We're not redlining anything. It doesn't seem to have red lines on the manifold pressure and all. Ooh, let's steer. Okay, well, let's hope everything will be all right. It's not a very long flight. And we're fairly light. We don't have much of a load. We'll keep it low this time compared to the previous flights with with the military planes, which were higher. And uh, both rigs uh, be closed, uh, but we uh, got plenty at the 10%. I understand. And uh, Jim, in the simulator with our configuration that we had here, the thing is real stable at uh, 10%, so we don't think you'll have to tweak very much at all uh, using the TTCAs over. Okay, I understand. This is the north arm of the Fraser River. Thank you. To our right. There's also a south arm. Thank you. Below Richmond. Uh, 
So we're over Burnaby right now. And we're turning towards Surrey. I'll leave it right there. red lines so <laughs> I guess we're okay probably don't want to go too much beyond 200 knots though so we're crossing the Fraser River basically where the two arms meet To our left is Surrey. Okay, first of all, we'll open the balance uh, cross side breaker on panel 16. That's a firm. I probably shouldn't have called it freeware necessarily, it's more donationware. You can set your own price kind of thing. You can see over to the right the ferry port to Vancouver Island. Go ahead, Houston. Uh, Jim, it looks to us like your your battery is good, but this is in fact a sensor problem. Therefore, I uh, request you close the cross tie bow loads on circuit breaker on panel 16. Uh, advise. Okay. <laughs> advise that uh, you will not have any. Uh, malfunction indication on any of your batteries now, but we can watch it from the ground. Over. Okay, we'll close. I think we should make more of an effort to follow the roadways. That's basically the local version of I-5 or the local extension of I-5 to the left there. Interstate 5, I mean. And we'll be able to follow Interstate 5 for a bit. Okay. 
Okay, Vance, uh, how do you read the Aquarius? Hey, read you loud and clear, Aquarius. We are over White Is Rock it, uh, now. Cool in there now. And okay. approaching the border with the United States. Yeah, yeah. The city on the opposite side of the border is okay. Blaine. Uh, Jack, this is a lengthy procedure. Take uh, probably two or three pages. It assumes that you are in your nominal configuration. Uh, and basically, Blaine is that town at our nose, and that's the border. So you can sort of see the border there. There's a building right there that represents the border, I think. Pretty simple border as far as borders go. So this is now I-5. ECS, press, group one, main B. ECS, press, group two, main B. ECS, temp, main B. ECS secondary loop transducer main B. ECS rad control heaters main B. Bat relay bus bat B. Bat charger, bat B, charge. Or, or to B, charge. Inverter, control two. Inverter, control one. EPS sensor. Signal AC one. This side seems to be shadier. I guess I'll stick to this side. EPS sensor unit AC bus one. Waste and portable water. I think Main B. might even have been loading Seattle right there. Yeah, Instruments. yeah it feels like ESS it's loading stuff Main in Seattle B. right now. Yeah, I mean it's only a 110 nautical mile flight, so. Okay, Van, are you with me? Uh, Raj, why don't you read that group back and then we'll proceed on. Okay, sounds good, because I don't know where I am. We're over Ferndale right now. Okay, panel four. Telecom, group one, to AC one. On panel five, close the following circuit breaker. ECS, pressure group one, main B. ECS, pressure group two, main B. ECS, temp, main B. ECS, secondary loop transducer, main B. ECS rad control heaters, main B. Bat relay bus, bat B. Bat charger, bat B. Inverter control two, inverter control one. EPS sensor signal AC one. This here EPS is Bellingham International B. Airport. EPS sensor unit AC one. Landed here once, uh, not, not personally, I wasn't flying the plane, but uh, as a passenger. Visit it here and okay, that's, uh, all correct. Is that my father rented a car so that we could drive up to Vancouver. 
visit relatives. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and uh, leave a little space. It was uh, uh, a little can, uh, to the right of these because Beechcraft uh, 1900 then we can just use the same bringing us from I'll Seattle, I'll tell you SeaTac to Bellingham. Step. And there's the city of Bellingham. Okay. Okay, next panel three. Transponder, primary. Power amp to primary, that's the verify. Power amp high. Mode voice to off. Power SCE to normal. Yes, not SCE to aux. <laughs> SCE is on normal AMD now. To normal. S band antenna Omni D. That's uh, Delta. Okay, why don't you read that one back? Mm, nice trees down there. Okay, and panel three. Particularly Red nice primary. array of trees. Power amplifier to primary. Power amp high. Mode voice to off. Power SCE to normal. PMP to normal. S band antenna Omni D. D as in doggy. Hey. Very good. Okay. Panel 225. Circuit breaker. Flight bus main B to close. Circuit breaker CTE main B to close. There will be some zigzagging through the United States, of course as we make our way back to Cape Canaveral where this whole thing started. CB, bat C, bat charger, e slash EDS2 to close. Hey Ben, just a minute, uh, slow down with you. Okay. Okay, uh, I, uh, I got distracted here. Uh, on panel 225, CB, flight bus, main B, closed. And then I, that I flickering that. of the reflection of the okay. land in the water, I think it is, After that, is CB, a little bit annoying. CTE, main B, to close. Otherwise, this would be a fairly good scene, barring that one Next. visual Next. artifact. Well, so far so good as far as OBS not taking that much of the resources. It's like half of what it normally takes. Okay, panel 225, 
circuit breaker, flight bus main B to close. Circuit breaker CTE main B to close. Panel 250. CB, bat C, bat charger, slash EDS2 to close. Hey, Ben, just a minute. Uh, slow down, would you? Okay. Okay, uh, I, uh, I got distracted here. Uh, on panel 225, CB, flight bus, may be closed, and then uh, I lost you after that. Okay. After that, CB, CTE, main B, to close. <clears throat> Next, panel 250. This is the Skagit River, S-K-A-G-I-T. We are still following Interstate 5 here. CB, inverter power 2, main B to close. Okay. Incidentally, uh, anything. Uh, that I've given you up till now uh, is not sequence critical, but uh, from now on, it should be, uh, you should be sure to do it in the sequence we give you. Why don't you read that back, Jack? Okay, let me give you all panel 225 again. CB flight bus main B closed. CB CTE main B closed. On panel 250, CB bat B bat charge. That should be bat C Charlie, isn't it? Bat charge EDS2 closed. That's right. CB that's bat B power entry. Okay, that should be bat Charlie. Uh, let me finish. Okay, that's what I thought. Bat Charlie, Bat Charge, EDS-2 closed. Bat Baker, power entry and post landing closed. On panel 275, CB, main B, Bat Bus B closed. CB, inverter power 2, main B closed. Okay, <clears throat> that's correct, except for the second circuit breaker on panel 250. Uh, which is CB, Bat Charlie, power entry, slash post landing, close. Okay, Bat Charlie, power entry, post landing. Okay, now back to panel 250. <coughs> CB, Bat Bravo, power entry, post landing, close. Next, MDC-3, AC inverter 2, to main B. AC inverter 2, AC bus 1, on up. Next 
next panel five. AC inverter, AC So we're ball. currently headed towards Everett. Not quite Every there yet. And center. Well, that's more or less at the north end of the Seattle metropolitan area. Actually, uh, SeaTac itself should be on our map by now. Up TLM to command reset, then off. We could land at Boeing Field instead, but then select best I'll just landing. stick to SeaTac. Read it's fine. Best. That was the original plan. Okay, Ben. Uh, the following uh, steps are sequence critical. Panel 250. CB, Bat B, power entry, post landing, closed. That's Bat Baker. Yeah, it's a really nice plane. MDC AC inverter 2 to main B. AC inverter 2, AC 1 on. And then there was a Uh oh. Noise. How do you read now, Jay? Okay, Ben. Uh, did you, Hopper, did you copy it, uh, any of my steps there? Okay, uh, I heard you through AC inverter 2, AC bus 1 to on, and you were uh, cut out by uh, noise. Go ahead. Okay, now comes the one I didn't understand. You said go over to MDC 5 and say an inver AC inverter, AC bus 1, reset, then center, then back to MDC 3, up to laboratory, command reset, then off. Then select best option. Uh, Roger, the uh, readback's correct, but uh, let me uh, recheck this standby. Uh, Jack. Uh, we were incorrect on uh, panel five. That should have been uh, panel three. Okay, that's good. I got it. Okay, now, when you are in this configuration, the following onboard readouts are required. Panel three. Bat C voltage. There's an interesting building down there. Oh, that's just a church. Okay. Pyro bat A. From a voltage. certain angle, it was looking a bit, a bit different. Pyro bat B voltage. SPS helium pressure. Following the readouts on panel 101. CM RCS in injector temperatures. Those are positions 5 Charlie, 5 Delta, 6 Alpha. Six Bravo, six Charlie, six Delta. And the battery manifold pressure, which is four alpha. And standing by for feedback. Okay, so this to our right is Everett. Okay, you want me to read out on MDC3, that B voltage, 
Pyro A voltage, Pyro B voltage, SPS helium pressure on panel 101, command module RCS injector temperatures, 5 Charlie, 5 Dog, 6 Alpha, 6 Baker, 6 Charlie, 6 Dog. The battery manifold pressure, 4 Alpha. Okay, and I, I, that was correct, but I want to recheck the very first one. Uh, that was bad Charlie voltage. Is that what you read back? Okay. Okay, bad Charlie voltage. Seems like we're having a different... Uh, I can't understand bad Charlie from bad dog. Okay, uh, now, that that's the complete procedure uh, for, for getting into it. Uh, as far as getting into it's concerned, what I'll give you now... We can see pain field there. ...through with your readings. Are you ready to copy? Okay. Okay, now, you'll back out fairly quickly after you go into this procedure. All we'll need is about five minutes of TM. And uh, so if you're ready to copy, here it comes. Go ahead. Panel three, power amp to off. Incidentally, uh, copy this down uh, on a piece of scratch paper as I read it, and then later I'll refer back to your, your first list where you can write things in the right-hand margin. Okay. Okay. Uh, Go ahead, uh, you want to, uh, uh, repeat the one on uh, panel three again, man. Okay, power amp off. Okay, go ahead. Transponder off. AC inverter two to off. Okay, next panel 250. CB, Bat Bravo, power entry, post landing to open. Standby one. Okay, uh, Jack, what I just gave you now on the back out is the only thing that's order critical. Uh, from here on, you can go to the steps for initiating the procedure and backtrack. In other words, you should go to each of the panels that I read up and put the uh, circuit breakers back to the baseline configuration uh, or, or the switches. Over. Oh, I should actually probably follow I-5 Express, not I-5. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, well, actually, it is the 405. Um, we're sort of missing the... We're headed towards Bellevue instead of uh, the heart of Seattle. We need to turn... Just for kicks. Okay, go ahead. Okay, and, and once again, uh, in the in the area.
you where I said order was not critical, it's still not critical when you back out. But uh, now I'll go ahead. Okay, panel four. Telcom group one, AC, uh, will not be AC one, it'll go to off. Panel five. All circuit breakers on that panel, which were positioned, will now come to open. Over. Oh, golf course sort of thing. Jackson Park Golf Course. Okay, panel four, telecom group one, we'll go off. Panel five, all the circuit breakers that we closed, we'll go back to open. Okay, panel three. The first three lines have been uh, taken care of already in uh, my beginning in the back out procedure. So starting with mode voice, that should go back to voice. Power SCE off. PMP off. S-band antenna, Omni Bravo. Panel 225. CB, flight bus, main B, open. CB, CTE, main B, open. Read back. To our left is the University of Washington. This is the University District here. And you can okay. see the heart of Seattle in front of us. Okay, how you reading on aft on me? Loud and clear. Okay, on panel three, the first three steps we took care of. Mode voice to voice. Power CE off, our PMP to uh, off, and S band Omni would go back to Bravo. Panel 225, flight bus main B will go open, and CB CTE main B will go open. That's affirmed. The two circuit breakers on panel 250 will go open. Two circuit breakers, panel two seven. Yeah, five. what the tower thingy Go over open. there is called. Space Needle? Was that the one in Seattle? I always get confused by them. It's not really that tall, huh? Okay, the circuit breaker on Seems panel rather short. we took care of already. Panel three. AC inverter two. Okay, well we now we're getting of. in the midst of things. Let's slow down a bit. We can see both Boeing AC Field and Seattle Airport, Seattle Tacoma on. International. And the remaining two switches on uh, panel three we took care of. And uh, select best option. So Boeing Field Green to switch. our left. Okay, read back. Flaps here. Landing that's gear. Correct, okay, uh, that's it. And uh, 
I think we're about ready to go with this uh, procedure whenever you are. Okay, first we gotta go through that And I should probably get into the cockpit now. Early? No, no, this is independent of uh, power from the limb. This is, uh, this is purely a CSM. Oh, okay. This is purely a CSM power up so we can take a look at uh, your telemetry and uh, see how cold the vehicle is and that sort of thing. Okay, uh, it's going in work. Okay, now I won't, uh, I won't have any voice with you, so uh, is that right? You don't want me to get connected up? Uh, you want me to just take these readings and come back and tell you what I have, huh? That's a firm. There'll be uh, no voice. And okay. Okay, it works. I, we presume, though, that uh, there'll be somebody in the LAM that we can call if we have to give word to you. Oh, yeah. There'll be somebody be standing by. They'll run up into the bedroom and tell me to stop what I'm doing. Bedroom okay, being the command module. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to start right now, Ben. Okay. Aquarius, Houston. Aquarius, Houston, over. Okay, uh, Houston, uh, Aquarius, uh, switching watches, and uh, Jack's put up in the command module. Okay, Jim. Uh, we have four steps here to give you to uh, request that you get back on down voice backup if you're ready to copy. Okay. Oh, okay. We've touched ground. Okay. Uh, bit rate to low bit rate. Voice All right. Switch. Down voice back up. Power amp CB open. I'm try and take this taxiway here. Range function switch in in uh, ranging. That's verify. Okay, uh, bit rate low, voice function, uh, down voice backup, power amp, uh, uh, S-band, Very nice. Uh, and range function to range. And here we are at SeaTac. And I still have the biomed on the uh, right And here, we are uh, intact, so we even better. Back. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me pause it at and, that. Uh, up, up, up. We'll just pause it right there. Okay, so uh, managing the audio sounds good. All right, so next time head to Eugene, Oregon, and I aim to do that in a P fifty one. So we're doing World War Two suddenly after having uh, jet bombers and the tornado for some reason. So yeah, that'll be next time. But uh, this is an awesome B-17 here, and this is an awesome airport. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.